One of the things we're always concerned about when it comes to fetal development is the presence of teratogens. And teratogens are any substance that might create a birth defect. Uh, it is the rule of uh, fetal development that uh, the most vulnerable period for a fetus is during the first trimester. And you can imagine that the first trimester is essentially the floor plan for a house, uh, laying the foundation. If you don't get that right, everything else that you build on top of it is going to be flawed. So exposure to teratogens is particularly um, bad at this stage of development. But what makes it even more of a problem is that uh, the typical woman does not know that they're pregnant until they're about two months along. And most women are pretty good about avoiding drugs and alcohol after they find out they're pregnant. But the thing is, you're already about two months along uh, when you figure that out well into the uh, first trimester. Vulnerability to teratogens then decreases during the second trimester. You are still vulnerable to them, just not as much. And that's an important thing to remember because some individuals think, oh, they don't have to worry at all during the second trimester, and that's simply not the case. During the third trimester, uh, you're not nearly as vulnerable to teratogens as you uh, were in the previous two trimesters. But again, that can't lead to a false sense of security. Alcohol, for instance, one of its primary effects in fetal alcohol syndrome where it causes uh, mental retardation is that it affects brain proliferation in the third trimester. Uh, the March of Dimes uh, says, and I certainly agree, that the best way to avoid birth defects is to plan to get pregnant.